Um, good day, everybody. My name is Ademola Badmos, and um, you can call me Sanguine. And welcome to my YouTube channel. This will be the first of uh, many series, I hope. And this particular one, we'll be talking about uh, Cypress and automation with Cypress. I hope um, you would like it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And constructive criticism is welcomed. I, uh, it's been a passion of mine to create these videos to help people. Growing up in Nigeria and learning how to automate in Nigeria has made me realize that there are so many people that want this, but they could not really afford it financially because um, there are so many paid, good paid materials that they could use, but um, because they could not afford the, um, the fee, however little you might think it is, they could just couldn't afford it because um, there are still some payment restric restrictions that we shouldn't go into that uh, does not even help them so i want to make this i thought making these youtube videos can also help them to be able to scale up especially those who are actually looking to move from non-tech background into technical background and they've already picked up something inside quality assurance so please when you see this video please like and subscribe to my channel because i'll be making comprehensive videos concerning cypress and i'll be starting from scratch till we get to bdd and we'll look for sample sites that we can use to build a framework from scratch we'll get to the bdd use and cucumba um studio cucumba js on uh, cypress so please um follow along and uh, please remember to subscribe and like the video so let us begin in order to run cypress on your system you only need two things primarily you need two things then others will follow you need to have node.js installed on your system and you need to have uh, an id of your choice i would want to recommend visual studio because it is light and it is easily adaptable you can save plugins and add plugins to it and it will work for you as you wish so that being said i would recommend down uh, i would recommend that you download visual studio code but aside that there are other um materials that you can use like a uh, webstorm you can use web storm you can use all of that js enabled ids the best that, well it is subject to a debate because i'm not uh, i'm not like a, an expert in js development so people might say webstorm isn't the best but it comes with with, with, with a lot of add-ons i can tell you that and um, that makes it really powerful so but it is not a free tool like vs code so if you want to go the freeway use the vs code and uh, it is available for all types of machines windows linux and mac and likewise node.js2 is available for all types of machines so you can just pick the one that suits you if you're using and the installation is basically very similar so we can do you can all do the same thing so when you're done with the installation you can come into your terminal or your command prompt and type node iphone iphone version press so you should be able to see the version presently i'm on this version this is not i, I do not think this is the latest version of a uh, node it is 16.15 as you can see here it is 16.15 but i am on that one because of i had to downgrade my version you can also do uh, version downgrading using the nvm this is not in the scope of what we need so i don't want to say too much about it so that being said if you've installed it and you've installed your vs code then we can begin automation so i'm going to stop here and in the next video we'll begin um, setting up cypress and writing hopefully writing our first code in cypress thank you very much please again remember to like and subscribe Thank you very much. Bye. See you in the next video.